We've all seen the monster movies with that crazy scientist trying to create his horrible flesh and bone masterpiece. So are scientists actually making real life monsters? Things more terrifying than our worst nightmares? Well, I wouldn't say that quite yet, so don't freak out. What they have done though is both incredible and a bit creepy as well. What I'm talking about here is the new breakthrough creation in science and biology called Xenobots. While not as shocking and gross as gurgling monsters, they could have the potential to Cronenberg the world, Morty. Boy, Morty, I really Cronenberg the world up, didn't I? We got a whole planet of Cronenbergs walking around down there, Morty. So let's take a look at what's going on here to see if we're approaching the rise of a monster army or potentially looking at some of the most important discoveries in human existence. Or both? Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of Xenobots. Now that your hats are secured, use your other hand to smash those like and subscribe buttons to help support the channel. Now, let's begin. So what exactly are Xenobots? Well, they're not your typical monsters, but they are definitely unique and mind-boggling creations. Xenobots represent a groundbreaking intersection between robotics and biology. These tiny biological creations, or biobots as scientists are calling them, hold both immense potential and raise significant ethical concerns. The creation of this new biobot technology is quickly blurring the lines between what is a living organism and what is a machine. Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's because it is. But it's also fascinating. Xenobots were created by a team of scientists at Tufts and Vermont universities in 2020. A team of biologists and roboticists with the help of a supercomputer AI algorithm were able to manipulate the embryo stem cells from an African clawed frog, also known as Xenopus lavis, hence the name Xenobots. By using these unique stem cells and combining different cell types, they are able to create Xenobots with specialized structures and functions. So basically, they can dictate the shape and movement that these little organisms have. First, they used muscle cells to incorporate the ability to contract and allow the xenobots to generate movement. Then they added cilia, which are microscopic hair-like structures on the surface, to increase movement speed and efficiency. Using the supercomputer algorithm, they could then process endless configurations in the blink of an eye, and use the ones that worked best for their intended purposes. So after careful consideration, it was time for the xenobots to become the ultimate prototype. With all of that combined wisdom and scientific genius, they formulated the ultimate Xenobot, Pac-Man. Yes, these millimeter-sized Xenobots actually resemble our beloved pellet and ghost-eating hero, Pac-Man. These little guys even work together to collect debris into piles as they move around. They also have the capability to heal themselves. And if that's not crazy enough, get ready for full pandemonium. So they continued to experiment by filling the environment with frog skin cells for them to collect, after giving them the almighty Pac-Man shape more suited for the task. But what would happen next would turn the world of science and biology upside down. And no, it's not because ghosts suddenly showed up to kill these little Pac-Mans. It's because these Xenobots began to replicate themselves on their own. Yes, I know, it's amazing, but also kind of terrifying. Scientists are saying that this type of self-replicating has never been observed in any other plant or animal. Also, these frog cells are replicating in a very different way than the frog itself does, so you can see the potential concerns or even terror in this discovery. While it may be exhilarating and astounding for some, the idea of self-replicating man-made biological creatures can make you think of the chest-busting aliens from the movies. With that being said, the work in progress of these scientists is truly amazing and could lead to world-changing advancements in several ways. Just imagine the advances in medicine if they discover how to tell human cells what to build or fix, potentially creating a xenobot army from your own cells to send back inside of you to fight off diseases or regenerate body parts. Who knows where it could lead to, but the possibilities are endless and truly exciting. But similar to other advancements like artificial intelligence, it can pose some serious dangers to the world as we know it. Although these scientists don't resemble those crazy doctors and scientists from the monster movies, they are literally creating the first man-made biological creatures. Many people could feel that they are playing God in a sense, which is a fair perspective. But there's also so many people fighting to survive in the hopes of a new breakthrough in medicine. So do you think these are robots? 
They are in fact biological organisms, but they are also bot-like in that they have been created or programmed essentially to perform or interact in a certain way. But these are still real living organisms that are made of real living materials. This is all still a very new and evolving science, so as it progresses, the term robot or biobot may change due to the ethical or moral implications. Either way, we live in an amazing time where progress is being made at an exponential rate. These xenobots have the potential to make huge advancements in the field of biomedical applications, environmental cleanup, or even exploration and monitoring. But they could pose a very serious threat from the potential unknown consequences they could have on the Earth and life as we know it, along with being weaponized in some way for private gain, or just to take over the world. It can be exciting or scary to think of where it can all lead to, but let's hope for the most positive outcomes to develop and improve the quality of life for all of us. If this interests you, definitely check out some of the videos posted by actual researchers to dive into the subject for yourself. I hope this video piques your interest and causes you to investigate more. Thanks for watching and comment below to tell me what you think about the Xenobots. Drop a like and a follow to help support the channel, and I'll see you next time right here where the revolution will be televised.